I can't believe Iggy Pop is still alive, let alone releasing new music. Hi people and hello my Chili Con Carnage crew, it's Chili here for a 5 minute review on Iggy Pop's newest album, Every Loser. Don't forget that we also do live streams on every Friday, so make sure to check that out. Also, if you enjoy the content, drop a like. So yes, I am surprised to see that Iggy Pop has released a new album, his 19th as a solo artist, but I'm not sure on this record to what extent you could call this an Iggy Pop solo album. Reading the list of contributors for this album is a bit of a who's who in rock and includes the likes of Guns N' Roses' Duff McKagan, Red Hot Chili Peppers' Chad Smith, as well as Josh Klinghoffer, Pearl Jam Stone Gossard, Blink-182's Travis Barker, Jane's Addiction's Dave Navarro, and the late Taylor Hawkins, and this is an impressive list of musical talent. This isn't the first time Iggy has teamed up with other musicians to write music, as he did so with David Bowie over the years, and even Queens of the Stone Age, on his more recent album Post Pop Depression. When you have a famous artist team up with multiple musical contributors, you can easily run the risk of losing focus on the record, and it can easily end up a sprawled out mess of musical ideas, with no cohesive direction, but I'll admit, this isn't the case on the album. This was probably helped by Andrew Watt, who helped produce this album, and as a contributing guitarist for most of the record really, may have kept Iggy's ideology in mind when working with the many musicians here. The record itself is a solid slab of rock and roll, venturing into the territory of sleaze rock like on the songs Frenzy and Modern Day Ripoff, classic punk on the song Neo Punk, and even elements of an 80s sound akin to The Cure or The Cult on tracks like Strung Out Johnny and All The Way Down. This is a great record, I feel, and I hardly found myself skipping anything upon my first playthrough. I think long-term fans of Iggy will be enjoying this record, as it's nowhere near as experimental as some of his recent efforts, while retaining the raw energy that he is known for. While this is a very impressive release for the start of a new year, I do have some things to comment on regarding this as a solo album again. And the main point is that it doesn't exactly feel like a solo album, but a collaborative effort. A fair few songs find Iggy on the back burner of vocals, in particular on the first half of the album, so it left me wondering exactly why this is an Iggy Pop record. In the end, Iggy Pop has always worked with different musicians over his time to achieve the music that he writes, and I feel the pros far outweigh the cons on this album. The feel for this record is just pure rock and roll energy to me, and this is one of the best releases in a long time, at least in my opinion, from Iggy Pop. Overall, I will score this album at 7 million chilies on the spicy scale, with standout tracks being Frenzy, Strung Out Johnny, and Modern Day Ripoff. While Iggy seems to be the visual embodiment of years of toil from rock and roll lifestyles, his experience cannot be questioned here, with this record being a purely exciting and entertaining affair. If you have enjoyed this episode, don't forget to drop us a like, as well as subscribing to the channel. And as always, people, you have a great day and stay spicy. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of Live Listener Race. And if you have enjoyed this episode, make sure you share it with all your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to our Chili Con Carnage crew so you can get notified for all the future videos that we put out, as we put out videos every Friday. Also, we are on Discord, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter over at Live Listener Race, so make sure to tune in over there. And don't forget to like this video so that our manager can stay very happy.